The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians. Oh, let's just show you something uh, at this particular point that I think is quite interesting. Look, um, crude oil, based on the Chapman Wave methodology, that a buy signal to a buy mode should go to at least a leg D and then a peak D. It could go E, F, and G. That's grading each successively higher peak. A is the first, B is the second, etc. Till you get to G, um, I've been looking at this and I said, well, let me just go to the crude oil itself. Look at this. We've got a breakout, I said, to the upside. And in the chat wave, there's never an H. So this G slash A alternate count said that that was a peak B around about the 18th. Was it the 18th, 19th? Or was it? On the 19th of September. <clears throat> in the 92s. And then I pulled back sharply and I said, I can't believe I'm saying this, but there's a buy mode in place. And that buy mode suggests that this really is a peak B and that there should still be a peak C. And then a D. And look what happened today. We got that huge spike in crude oil up to 14 at 92.54. If this is not going to put pressure on the market, you know, a lot of us are saying, aren't we getting close to some kind of reversal? Well, I'll go through that in a moment. But crude oil breaking above the high that was in 2022, 92.81. Trading uh, with a high today of 92.72. Um, let me just double check because it gets smoothed out. Did that price change to 92.81? No, that was 92.81. The week of it, November the 11th, 2022. And today's high so far is 92.58. So we've got this price time match that I talk about all the time. Here's the low bar that I'm using. Whoops. Here's the low bar that I'm using. Move this to the side one. There are. Uh, right there. This is the low of April, the, the week of the, no, May, the week of the 5th at 62.58 in the continuous contract. Three times it went, uh, well, Twice it went under the 200 period moving average, but it hit that 200 period moving average, or just about, about seven or eight times. And then it broke to the upside. And this weekly chart says it's in leg D with a price time match and a Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line that has just taken out, which said that by about the week of the 13th, about 7th or 13th of October, we should be hitting 92.81. Well, we're very close. Um, and the week monthly chart has made a nice cup formation, but that's just a work in progress. What's really important here is that the weekly chart, the stochastics at 96%, the on-balance volume is a little bit overbought. MACD is fantastic. It hasn't even started turning down. You see the histogram here, the vertical lines. That's the distance between the green, 9 period differential, and the uh, red, uh, 20 yeah, the, the 26 period exponential moving average. So there aren't any signs yet to say that on a weekly basis, you're going to get a pullback. You have to get it from the daily, but the daily is busy breaking out. Although the stochastics only at 71%, on balance volume is weak. The MACD did deflect slightly higher, but that nine period moving average is the boss. It is just pushing the price higher. So I wanted to go through that a little bit backwards. Now I can go through all the other stuff. Look, now. The Dow is trading down 22 points after a very ugly session yesterday. In fact, if you're looking at this move down, there is a one-to-one -one expansion. I do this every once in a while, but I usually do it in the context not of the Tiger Financial News Network, all the hosts talk about one-to-one -to, -one, uh, to the downside, the one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. I do this in co the context of a falling axe formation where you've got um, a series of much higher highs and higher lows, and then it turns around, takes it out, and then you can get this one-to-one -one expansion to the downside. So let me just show you something that I think is we have to keep our 
focus on. And that is uh, the unbalanced volume. You see this little blue line? Gave a fabulous signal together with one or two other, other instruments that I use. Right here on the 1st of, of August, it didn't do it that day until the day was closed. So it was really the 2nd of August that gave you the signal. The first is where the signal was, for me, being triggered. So we were able to short the Dow right at the top on August the 1st. Still got that short. And now look at this. You get the pattern that goes straight down. You've got these dreaded H patterns where you have a, a, a rally that goes to A or B and then fails, takes out the left side low, does it a couple of times. Then you have a bigger one. This one made a kind of a double arch. It really is a single one if you just look at it in terms of the pattern that I like to talk about. But within that, there's this influx of, of buying pressure that keeps it, keeps it so that it goes from a lowercase h to a lowercase m, very tall, like on stilts, and then it breaks down. And when it breaks down, if two out of, within two to three bars, if it's gone and closed underneath the left side low, this is the dreaded h pattern, that's 34,029, <clears throat> And we went to, right here, we went to 30, uh, 33,947. So we went under it and closed at uh, 33,963. So that's one bar. Uh, the next bar went a little bit above. Did that close above that? Yes, it did. 34,006. No, it didn't. So you've got one, two, three. This is... This is the fourth session. So you've got your three sessions below, and that says there are times when you can go expand to the downside from the arch high, an equal amount to the downside. I don't really like to go there. I like to go one step at a time. The first step is just as plain old one-to-one -one from 35,679 to 34,029 in August down to the, the, the low of the 25th, 25th of August. Then back up to the high of uh, 35,070. I'm going to just type that in because I'll probably be mentioning it enough times. 35,070, make it gray. It doesn't have to be red. I just need it as a, a reference point right there. Mm. And you come down, and here you are. The one-to-one -one says that we should have something going on at about the 33,004. Is that correct? Yeah, somewhere around 33,470. It doesn't have to be exactly one-to-one. -one, but this is the idea that says we're starting to get a little bit oversold at all the levels. But wait a minute. The unbalanced volume, which gave this fantastic signal, gave a fantastic signal right here at the low in July uh, for a turnaround to the upside, hasn't given any signal yet, and it's not oversold. It's just kind of on the way down. It's in sell mode, but it hasn't given any uh, reversal signal. And the stochastic's at 7%. That's the opposite of being up at 92 or 93%, where I always say that is really bullish. This is really bearish. So for us to get some kind of a, 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 a magnitude of reversal that I would have expected in this kind of selling pressure, I have to move to the next time frame, and that's the weekly. So we'll go from there as soon as I return, because we're trying to say, where can we get a serious upside reversal. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 50. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So I like to talk about technical tools and how important they are, how they can really benefit you. And I love technical tools that just sit there doing nothing and only become a focus when they become a focus. Otherwise, you don't even care about them. Do I care about the 200 period moving average right now, this orange line? No. But how about all of this trading for hours? Look at this. Hours and hours. And let me just squeeze this so you can see. Look at this. We hung around the 200 period moving average. Uh, I don't want to go back, but you can see just for hours, like a sine wave going above and below. Talking about sine wave. Um, um, We've got uh, Teddy Kegsad doing his webinar today, and it's to do with options. Just to, it's to do with all the all the technical stuff that in options can, if you understand it, and it's just English. It's just a matter of explaining it so that you can understand it. But that you can use options so well to do so many things. You think of options, oh man, you can risk, you can lose everything. No. It can be that, but it's actually the exact opposite. This is where you can put on positions to really save your position, to save um, at least to know what your loss potential is, etc. And, and Teddy will be discussing that today. So it's really a, a really worthwhile um, taking the, this course that he's doing this afternoon. So in the meantime, as I'm saying, we're way below the 200 period moving average right now. So uh, with that said, Look at the 10-minute chart, and the 10-minute chart has also got the 200-period exponential moving average in, but the strength was not enough to garner. Uh, yeah, right. Look, it was just a fantastic turnaround right here at this peak D that went to peak E right at um, at 8.10. Uh, that was 8.10, I believe it was yesterday morning. Was it 8.10? Yes, <laughs> I just had to check because I do this all the time. Days blend into minutes and minutes blend into months. So here we go, right there. And that was 810 yesterday. Um, hit the 200 period moving average a couple of times and reversed without even closing above it. And that was it. That was it at 4360, 6, 66, 75. Um, and even now we're at 
So you can see what how important. Was it important down here? Not at all. As it got closer and closer and closer, it couldn't touch it. I, I always say that it's got to get very close. It can't just get close. It's got to get very, as soon as it gets very close, like a magnet, plop, it suddenly grabs it and it hugs it. But right here, it's repelled it. So the next move up is the one to watch closely because if it gets to 43, uh, 43.33, that 40, I don't know where it will be because it moves all the time, but it's at 43.35 on the E-mini right now. That'll be the place to go to. Now, I want you to talk about the cluster formation. <clears throat> I should have stuck it to it with that one-minute chart. Um, what I want you to talk about is these cluster formations. It's very important to monitor them. Why? <clears throat> Because it's telling you after a big move down, it's just stuck here. It can't break to a lower low, and it should. Look, the technicals kept going weaker and weaker, and then all of a sudden you got this turnaround, and now what you've got, you've, you've got a nice strong leg B. So you go A, and then you want to check. The MACD did turn up. The stochastic has turned from, uh, from single digits to the teens, and now it's trading at the 62% level. The uh, nine-period moving average, right as we're speaking, is turning green. In other words, uh, it's flipping to the positive side, but you have to wait for the bar to actually complete. So this is that 10, 20. Remember, I always say uh, th there are a couple of parts to the market, but it's the next part, 10, 20 to about 12, 45-ish, something like that. That's really what I like to monitor. So now you've had all your selling pressure. There's no reason why you don't get some buying pressure here. And as I said before, this 43.26 uh, level in the 200-period um, moving average, that will become a magnet the closer you get. But you can't just get kind of close. You're going to get almost to the 43.25.54 level so you can start talking about 43.26.45. So, okay. I wanted to do a couple of things because this is always about education. So every day I like to do a little bit of something in the way that I always look at markets. Now, I said I'm going to look at the weekly chart. So yesterday, the nine-period moving average on the weekly chart flipped to negative at the close. And this morning, it's at an S, meaning this only this indicator. It doesn't mean to say that the market that you're following, just the indicator has gone to a sell signal. It's the first sell signal. It's it's gone, but I, it's not a sell signal until Friday at four o'clock, because it's a, a weekly candle. You got to wait for the entire week to conclude before you can say, "Oh, now I've got myself a sell signal." So the interesting thing is, using this one indicator. Uh, now we had gone long October the four, uh, the week of the fourteenth on the, the the day of the low October twenty eighth. 1,660 was the Dow uh, low. We're still long that position, and we're long uh, the uh, three times long in that position. But we've also had trades on the upside, downside, but now we, we, we're just holding off. We're not doing anything. I was going to add a position this morning to say we're getting close to just a bounce, not the low or any kind of low, just a kind of a bounce. And then I thought, I don't know the exact figure. The exact figure that I was going to use yesterday was 31. I think I took it off. Let me see if I can find it here. It was a 31. Uh, let me just see if I've got it right here. Uh, let's see. Thank you. There you go. You go. Why did I? Oh, wait to add. Oh, that was Wednesday. Okay, sorry. So let me. I don't have it in front of me, but I think it was th under 31.77 on the 51.77 on the UDOW, and the low today is 54.30. Would have missed it. Um, I, I had that for a few days, and then yesterday and, the, and today I said let's just skip it. I, I don't want to get it the day before. Um, it got close, but not not good enough. So that was just for a bounce. Meantime, back at the ranch, you see this weekly chart here on the S&P, that nine-period exponential moving average has turned down, but it hasn't yet crossed. So let me just go to this one to make it clearer here. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, huh. 
I had this yesterday and I forgot to show it. Um, here's the gold chart of the 120. I'm, I'm, I'm chart comes up. I'm doing the chart. I'll, I'll get back to what I was talking about in a minute because I'm liable to forget. So I did this. And I did a left side, right side price time match to that high that was made in goals. This is a 120 minute chart. It made a high at, at two o'clock on the 20, 20th of September at 1968.9. So I used that as a measured move to the le left side to the right side. And I used this one to one, which I sometimes do because this had. The pattern that I call the falling axe formation, the inverted one. I don't want to go into that right now, but look at that, this pattern right here. And then it came down. So this, my target was on the downside, right here, uh, 1913. So it did the time match, broke down, and it's gone a little low. It's gone to 1904. I'll be back and we'll talk about the... Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer. But the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I wanted to show you. Look, here's the SMT weekly chart. <clears throat> um, and look, it is so close. It is just a matter of an eye blink. But it's done that before when it went an eye blink away and it did go to pink and it went pink just very for momentarily back in, in January, um, uh, end of December, beginning of January. But look at this. It is so close. Look at the QQQ. Not so close. It's uh, still showing some in, uh, internal strength. Look at the IWM. Already pink. 
this is the weekly chart, just like the Dow has gone. Uh, look at the uh, SMHs. Still pretty good, but very close to turning pink. Now the pink says it's going negative, that particular indicator, right? Uh, I want you to show you something else. Look at the dollar. This is a weekly chart. That is very strong, but it is under the previous highs. So at any point, this could start to turn down, but it's broken nicely above all these previous left side highs. Um, and now the next high is this one right here. This, this gray line is the uh, closing price at any point. This is 11 on the week of the 18th of November. It hit 107.27. So we'll be watching that. Uh, today's high is 10661. So I wanted to show you that. And at the same time, I want to go back to these charts and show you something I think is, is really fascinating. So you see the 200 period moving average now is so important in the uh, daily chart of the S&P. It's done the one-to-one. 4507 was the high back in uh, late July. Comes down to the late August low of 4335. Bounces up to uh, 40, uh, 45, uh, 4125. And that was uh, that was in the very first uh, day of September. And here it is, almost a one-to-one -one match, to almost to the penny. But it's the 200 period moving average, that's what's so important. But look what ha can happen when you come down to the 200 period moving average. I'm going all the way back. When you've been on your way down, when you make your all time high at 43.25, oh, that wasn't the all time high. August, that was just August of uh, last year. The all time high was right here. One January, nope, December, forty-one ninety-five. Uh, yeah, forty-one ninety-five. The first week uh, that was the second of February of this year. So this is the S and P. So this is very important because as you come down to the two hundred period moving average, what happens next is very important in the sense that. Um, if it if it just goes right through, then you know that that's a magnet line. That even if you go above, you're going to have to do some testing. So here we are, right on. Did I do that correctly? Yes, I did. Uh, so that's 4507. I don't know what's going on. 4818 was the high. So that was back in 22. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, right there. That was right there. 4818.62. That was uh, January of 2022. So when you come back down, how you deal with the 200 period moving in, to me that's way more important than the one-to-one. One-to-one -one. One -one is just, it's an arbitrary measurement. But what is not arbitrary is the look back period of the 200 period moving average that belongs to this particular S&P daily chart. And that to me says is really important. So how we deal with this is gonna be important. What it says to me, is that if we go down, we can come back. And the further away we go from this 200 period moving average, the weaker the market gets. But the closer we keep holding, the more the chances are that you can bounce up, you can come down, but this is going to be a magnet point for a little while. Okay, so with that said, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about here is uh, there are so many stocks and stuff, but almost everything kind of weak. I wanted to say, I did this in my webinar and it's still up. And I, the way I the, I did this webinar, it is called. It's there for anyone who subscribes to my service. You can get all my webinars. This one was the power of the 914 EMAs, the exponential moving averages, and other indicators in the Chapman Wave methodology. Wednesday, August the 23rd. Yeah, we are over a month later. And it's still, I did this because I just wanted absolute relevancy to the markets. I did not want to have this as this was not one of those that was timed like today. You got to do it right now because tomorrow this is one that had we spoke about the dollar. We spoke about how I waited. I got the unbalanced volume sell signal on August 1st, but we had to wait for a sell signal to sell mode in the daily chart of the Dow because the nine hadn't crossed negative. And then it did. And you can see what's happened subsequent to that. But here's something else that I wanted to show you. 
uh, 20, slide 22, I believe it is. Yeah. So I like to think of the market as tithes. You know, like I said to you, 10, 20 today, that's the next period that we're going to be looking at. Well, um, if you think of the chart patterns as trends and as tides, look, number one, steady tidal rhythms, waves. This is like sine wave. You're going up, you're going down, but you've got a good sense that the market is in a range, and it's going from the upper range to the low range, and the low range to the upper range. Larger but uneven waves. These are those sporadic, just these big moves, and then nothing happens. Uh, we see that in biotechs, right? Big move up, and then poof, they come down. Um, riptides. Riptide is where you are. That's where you can get your um, you can get your uh, spike to the upside. That um, when you see high tide at noon, but you get uh, a sudden, very sharp, unconventional move to the upside, like a rogue wave, um, and then it goes back to what it was doing. Riptides. Hundred footers. That's a hundred footer. Is, is is like you had with um, Nvidia. When it came out with its earnings news, and it just kept going. Uh, think Nazare, those waves, 100 footers. Overlapping waves. This is a technique that I use in the chat wave where you get a peak A, then a B, and a C. And you look back, or A and a B, and you're underneath the previous high, which faulted it at a C. Then you get this overlapping wave that says not only will you go to a leg C, but you're going to go to a D as well. And then that left side lip becomes the support level. Or you could just be flat. Sideways, a narrow rectangle can stay flat for a long time. Rough waters. All right. Uh, other thing I want you to talk about, then we're going to get to some of the questions. Here's 36, I think it was, side 36. So this is what I'm trying my best to do for subscribers. And I think we've done it quite well, at least we, I, have done it quite well for a little while. I've, been, I've had uh, aberrations, but I'm trying my best. You see this chart? You see the price? You see the way the price is moving higher? And I've got this down arrow, and it says shorting all the way up. Uh-oh, wrong trend. Well, if you're really nimble, you can get each one of those peaks. That's great. But if you are right about going long and you have a decent stop in, you know how you throw a piece of driftwood in the water, and if the tide's going out, no matter what you do, the tide, that piece of driftwood is not coming to shore. If the tide is coming in, no matter what you do, you can't throw it away. Well, this is correct. On the way down, you want to be shorting. You don't want to be buying unless you're really quick and nimble to get those bounces. This is the way the chart should look. Way up, you want to go all the way to the upside. Way down, you want to be thinking short. I'll be back to the market in a moment. with a lot of questions coming. <laughs> The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, just to go in order of what I see here, um, ASPN. ASPN, we were looking at it the other day, and that's Aspen. There we go. This is Aspen Aer Aerogels Inc. Electric Vehicle uh, Products. This is one of the first in the electric vehicles over the last couple of days that I've seen actually active on the upside. Almost all the others are just looking horrible. But this is doing what uh, we had discussed going higher that it was going to go, it should go to leg E. But most importantly, Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line is right here at the resistance line. This says that the next high, which will be 818, that's the high of the 4th of August, and then the high of 839, the high of the 31st of July, those would be upside targets. Now, the stochastic did get to 82%. The on-balance volume is rallying nicely. It's not overbought or anything like that. The relative strength, this little gray line, has been moving up very, very nicely to confirm everything. The MACD is good. The price is way above the nine-period moving average, which is at uh, 6.89, and the 14-period moving average is at 6.72. So this is acting well and says that 7.38 to 7.28 should be good support on any sudden pullback. But most importantly, what I was saying is, there's a chance that this H pattern, what I call the dreaded H, which was successful only that it went underneath the left side low, but then closed above it and so far has just been pushing away, says that if any point in the next six weeks, <clears throat> there is a, even just one close above the 890, 8.90 high of the week of the 14th of July, that would start to get the action in this ugly, ugly candle for the week of the 10th of, of March, 10.45 was the high, 10.55 was the high, 7.79 was the low. I mean, 28, 32% decline, woof, just like that. And it gets you into that candle. So, so far, there's this really good action. The weekly chart needs a lot of work. The MACD is even close to turning up. But so far, congratulations, uh, Danny. This is a, a great analysis and you did a good job. Next is... Uh, ASC question is, uh, would you buy? ASC is, <clears throat> uh, let's see, this is Ardmore Shipping Company. Now, it's funny that you mentioned that because I had a shipping company on my list the other day of screamers that I was about to add to our list, maybe just as a quick trade, and then I stepped aside saying, you know, in this market, why would the shippers be doing well? So let me put this down, ASC. Uh, there's another one that I wanted to talk about that I almost went long, but I didn't. It was the same thinking. Why? Why would it? And then I realized, of course, crude oil is powering to the upside. You're going to get those shippers active. And they are. that means that they are in play. So this one here, first of all, I have to say, as a group, 
when you get them all moving in sync, because sometimes shippers could be dry bulk, but if it's the oil, that's something different altogether. So look, yes, NAT, this is Nordic. I spoke about the other, I mentioned Nordic American tanker shipping. They're also in a leg seeding very nicely. DSX is Diana shipping, but I don't think it's in the same category. I think it's more dry, dry goods. But it's also doing quite nicely at 352, up five, uh, six cents. So what I am going to say is, a, a, in this environment, at some point we're going to get things changing dramatically. But it also depends on when the crude oil price slows down. And you've got crude oil right now. I discussed this before that there was a peak B, and I said I don't know how on earth it could get to a C. Um, am I correct that it can go to a C? That means we still have to go to a D. Well, yeah, this is breaking out. And the USO is doing the same thing. This is the USO. Uh, we've got the USO trading in a leg D right now, up $1.57, 67 at 82.55, up 2.06. So I'm going to say to you, yes, as a, to, to start a new position is a little tough because that weekly chart needs a lot of work. But I know that you you like to look out, uh, Peaky. You like to look out and say, I, I don't mind short-term trades, but does this have the uh, greater potential to move higher? And what I'm going to say is the further away the daily chart moves away from the 200-period moving average of 12.91 and helping the weekly chart move from the 13s into the 14s, I would say to you, yes, this is a really important stage. But I know that you also are prepared to put in stops. To, to So I'm going to say to you, I would start a position here. I don't know if I would add to it in leg D, but I would start the position. And most importantly is I would start the position with a kind of a wide stop right now, 1304. I, I know you, you don't mind. So I even have a stop of about $1.10. At this point, it's almost nine, like eight, nine percent. That's more than I would normally do. But I think you need that just for the moment, and then let's deal with it and look at it again in two days' time. Um, got a little ping, and the little ping says uh, we have we have Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, how are you? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I'm very well. What would you like to look at today? Uh, today, I want to talk about Uber, U-B-E-R. Yes. Uh, by looking at the daily chart, um, even though the uh, candle and the five-day simple moving average is below its 50-day simple and is below 21-day, mm -hmm. and the SAR dots are at above, which is not uh, according to my formula, would you buy it here? Uh, let's say if you want to buy 500 shares, would you buy 100 shares at a time? Or... Uh, you will wait until the candle goes above 50-day moving average. So let me give you three answers. One is I like Uber because it is an innovator in an area and a leader in that area, just like Airbnb, Uber. Uh, these are very important things. When you become a leader of the field, um, it means that it means that the money from the fund managers tends to go to you when it is working. When it's not working, they don't just all jump out unless it really breaks down. So in that sense, that's number one. It, it, it's the stock that I'm looking at for subscribers. We don't have it. I'll be waiting for it. I'm still going to wait a little longer. That's number one. Number two is on a very short term basis, this is a nice green candle. The on-balance volume is okay. It's turned up. The stochastic's at 14%. That's not great. The on MACD is not very good. And I'm going to say to you, um, because you're looking at this at buying in stages, that leads me to the third point, which is I would treat as a separate one altogether. And that says <clears throat> you are looking at this. If you want to buy it in stages, you're looking at this as a more intermediate-term buy. Is that correct? Um, yes, sir. Um, I'm a day trader. I, I don't buy and hold nothing. Absolutely. Okay, okay. I, I, I needed to clarify that number three in my, my looking at this doesn't occur, it doesn't exist. Okay, so we're looking at something very, give me a second. I want to do a little bit of work on the 120 minute yes, chart. Sir. 
and I'll be right back. We're back with Garo. Dow's down 46. SMB's up four. We'll be right back because we're looking at Uber. Are we going to catch a ride in Uber or are we going to wait for it to go around the block? I'll be back with Garo. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we got Garo online, and I'm looking at 40, uh, 43.08. Yeah, so uh, 45, it's trading at 45.12 Uber right now. ICE can see that there's a chance that over the next day or two, it comes back to test the 43s. So I would not do anything right now. I'd probably say I'm going to wait. So you ask me my opinion, even though it's 100 shares, I'm going to say wait. I hope that helps you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you. I got my answer. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank All right. Thank you for nice calling. Okay, so folks, let me just do this as we're about to wrap up. Check out my opening call, my daily news data, all these techniques that I'm talking about, they're all, they're all applicable, and that webinar that I did in August on the 917. Look at the, look at the dollar. The reason why I haven't said anything about the dollar going down yet is because that nine-period moving average is so strong. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. You remember we were talking about the trend? And that just says to me, you've got to be real careful. Um, that, that means gold coming down. It's impacting the markets. I just be really careful. There's no rush. And, if, and let's just say I'm wrong. 
and we get a nice reversal on the market. It's up 300 by the end of the day or tomorrow, whatever. <clears throat> There's a lot of bad news out there that can keep coming in. So as these things sweep along, <clears throat> I, want, I don't want to talk about it right now. I'll just mention this is the, uh, the technique that I've used for years and years where I talk about the dark news cloud cover. Yeah, I use the Dow as an example. And we've got that. You remember I said back in, in July, I said there's a dark news cloud cover. If we start to get back into the long rectangle resistance area, and now we're actually almost close to getting below this rectangle. Just be careful out there with long positions. Have decent stops. And if you're in the right area like crude oil or something like that, we're still lucky we've got the uranium stock. That's different. So... Um, yeah, be careful. And as I say, we've been along the dance for along the dance. So just be be very cautious. Uh, stay tuned for Steve. And don't forget to be on our late day. Uh, uh, have a great day. See you tomorrow.